Hello everybody, my name is Sergey. welcome back to another episode of the best PowerPoint games. And today I've got a brand new PowerPoint game for you. It's called Plants vs Zombies, Halloween edition. Let's jump into the game. So here I've got two games. The first game I've created for younger students and the second game is for normal students as I normally make PowerPoint games for. And let's start with the first game. The zombies are coming. So because the first game is for the younger students, you don't have here the question boxes or any questions to answer. So they only need to choose a pumpkin and then the pumpkin will have a reward or a penalty. And the younger students, I mean like three-year-olds, where they only need to press on some stuff and the stuff will give them excitement right away. So they need to select the pumpkin and find a lollipop or a candy. Also, you got zombies here. Uh, zombies, they slowly walking towards the pumpkins but they're not gonna do anything for pumpkins they're just walking as kind of like a small anticipation here all right so let's press on pumpkin and see what's gonna happen we've got lollipop you press on the lollipop here and then you press on this lollipop so you charge in this bar and also we have another bar for candy you need to find six lollipops so six candies to get this plant monster and win the game. Let's press on another pumpkin. No! Oh, it's a bomb. Let's see here. Okay, we got candy. Charge. And also, we're gonna get some plants. You press on a plant to kill a zombie. Also, you're gonna get a zombie from the ground even though you're gonna kill all the zombies here on this right side of the board you're not gonna win the game until you're gonna find candies or lollipops and then the big monster will eat all the zombies <coughs> so students select a pumpkin one after another I usually give a sticker for finding a reward and for the penalties I don't give anything but later in the end of the class I'm still gonna give students a sticker let me show you some monster when students gonna find six lollipops for example <laughs> then you press on this monster <laughs> And you're gonna win this game and that's it later I will tell you how to mix the pumpkins stay tuned now let's go back and let me tell you about the second game so here I've got five players and also we've got a spinner and you only can choose players from one to five you cannot choose players from five to four or mix them up anyway Otherwise, the game not gonna work properly. So you need to have an order in this game and start with a P1, P2, P3, P4. Not P3 and P4 and P2 and P5. Otherwise, yeah, you're gonna miss up. So let's say you're gonna have three players. So you press on P1 first, then P2 and then P3. Press confirm. Zombies are coming. So other players will disappear, and you're gonna have these three zombies here and three plants. So to win this game, you need to kill three zombies and don't let them reach your uh, lawnmower. If any of the zombies will reach your lawnmower, then you're going to lose the game. So now let me show you what's on a spinner. The spinner has a plant. So if you're gonna get a plant, you press on a plant right here. So you can shoot with the plant. If you're gonna get this plant with two X, 
then you can shoot twice. If you're gonna get zombie head, then that means you need to press one time on a zombie. And zombie will walk forward towards your mower. It depends whatever player you are, P1, P2 or P3. And then zombie's head with two eggs, that means two steps forward. And also we've got a question here. When you're gonna get a question, blue or yellow, you just press on this question mark and to go to the next slide. On this slide, the question slide, you have this uh, sunflower faces with a Halloween hat <laughs> costume. <laughs> Players need to select this letter. You press one time on the sunflower to get a question you will answer a question and then you press one more time on this sunflower to hide the question and get a reward or a penalty. In this case, we've got a penalty, three X's, that means three steps forward for the zombie. Three steps forward, you press on the zombie, one, two, and three. Playing like this. So let's start this game one more time. Okay, three players. Press confirm. Zombies are coming. Spin the spinner. Press again on the spinner to stop. Press here. Two, one, two. Okay. Press again. Three, one, two, three. This means you have one time to shoot at the zombie and by the way you have three zombies to kill that means when you finish this zombie another zombie will appear and you need to hit each zombie three times to kill it like this and you're gonna get another zombie. Let me show you if a zombie will reach the player. A zombie will eat the player's lawnmower and that's it, the player will disappear. But if the player will eliminate all of the three zombies, then the player will win the game. And that's it for this second game. Let me show you how to mix these pumpkins. You need to select uh, whatever on a pumpkin, the top layer. For example, here we have a candy and the pumpkin itself. And then you can move it to another place. And then you just save the PowerPoint. And that's it for this game, how to mix these pumpkins. Here on the question slide, how you can modify the questions. So questions are all behind each other. You can drag it down or you can go to the shape format, selection pane, and then you can find question Z and question Y and question X. You can hide this question Z and then all the questions till the question A and then write your own question and save the PowerPoint. If you would like to mix the sunflowers, you can just select the whole sunflower and move it to another place. But then you need to change the letter A to something else. So you need to find this letter A, press on the zombie, and you're gonna have this selection here. This is zombie two steps. We need to hide this zombie's head like this and then we're gonna find this letter a and press on the letter a and change to any other letter or maybe number and then you need to press on this i one more time to open and when you're done mixing then save the powerpoint then you will be good to go all right guys if you like this video and the game hit like subscribe and share for more free powerpoint games for you and i'll see you in my next video peace